everyone, welcome to the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. My name's Kennedy, I'm one of the veterinary nurses here, and today I'd love to share with you a story of two very special patients that are very close to our hearts here. In October 2021, a koala called Summer was unfortunately hit by a car in a place called Kendanga. She was fortunately found by some members of the public who noticed that she needed immediate treatment, so we were able to bring her straight up to the wildlife hospital. When Summer arrived, we could immediately see that she had sustained quite a knock to the head. We then placed Summer under a general anaesthetic so we could do some more diagnostics, do some x-rays, ultrasound, take some bloods and try and stabilise her. While doing this, we also discovered that she had a little joey in her pouch, who we called Salt. Luckily for Salt, he was unharmed in the incident, uh, but the same unfortunately couldn't be said for Summer and she had quite a long road to recovery ahead of her. The next few weeks in care were quite critical for Summer. During this time, Summer was actually unable to sit in her tree. She was unable to eat leaf unassisted, so she really did need around the clock care from the staff here at the Wildlife Hospital. Myself and the other nurses took on the role of part-time mum to Salt. Over the next few months, Salt grew bigger and bigger he began exploring his surroundings, eating leaf on his own. It was really great as a group of nurses and vets to be able to see him hit those milestones. So once Salt hit around the 2.5 kilogram mark, that is the sort of age where he would naturally be dispersing from mum. So he actually moved out into our koala kindy, where he was able to socialise with other koalas around a similar age and size. Salt spent about two months in koala kindy before then graduating onto the next step of his rehabilitation. This was moving into our on-site plantation, which is essentially a large area filled with very large trees where he's able to gain confidence climbing and still be monitored by our team before then being released back into the wild. So Salt spent about three months in plantation and he did amazing. He'd grown in confidence, he'd put on a lot of weight and he was more than ready to go for release. We put him back into the same region where he came from, but far enough away from any roads. You're very loud. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're a good boy. Okay. There's already marks on the tree for potential colours. Yeah. Love you. Oh, love you too. Summer spent the next few months still in our intensive care unit receiving around the clock care. She was making very small but consistent improvements, which gave us a little bit of hope. But she still did have a long road to recovery ahead of her. So because Summer had spent quite a few months in our ICU, she had lost a lot of muscle mass. So the next few months in her rehabilitation, we're actually just trying to build up that strength to go back into the wild. So after 18 long months in care here at the hospital, we finally got Summer to the point where she was able to be released. When we arrived at the location, it was clear that Summer felt right at home. She knew where she was. As soon as we opened the lid to the carrier, she jumped straight onto the tree and climbed all the way to the top, which is exactly what we wanted her to do. So because Summer had such an extensive rehabilitation process, we wanted to make sure that she was going to be safe and okay out in the wild. So what we did is we placed a very small non-invasive tracker on her that allows us to just keep track of her movements and make sure she's staying in a safe location. So Summer and Salt send a very important message to always slow down on our roads, keep an eye out for any injured wildlife, and if safe to do so, pull over, check they're okay, especially with marsupials who may be carrying a joey in their pouch, just like Salt. We're very grateful to the members of the public who pulled over to check on Summer, as they not only contributed to saving Summer's life, but they also contributed to saving Salt's life as well.